testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with the second show of today. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest uh, boxing news and rumors. Uh, We were on earlier today, um, and uh, now we're back and we're going to talk about Josh Taylor, who is uh, very unhappy with the judges and the referee um, after he got a uh, unanimous decision in a, in a competitive fight with J.C. Ramirez, uh, which really makes no sense on why he's unhappy. Um, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blood. Like I said, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. Also, there's a brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to uh, autism research and uh, and recovery. Um, help us get that monetized as quickly as possible. Please like and subscribe and share to uh, Texas Boxing Scene on all forms. Um, let's get into today's show. It's going to be a good one. Um, I I don't know what's going on with uh, <laughs> the undisputed uh well to uh junior well to 140 pound champion josh taylor um but but he's apparently unhappy with the judges um everyone who watched the fight kind of had the same kind of inkling that it was a good fight a competitive fight a close fight that taylor won um agreeing with that notion which everyone had was the three judges who all scored the fight close but for taylor um T- taylor doesn't seem to like that the scores were 114, 112. Full disclosure, uh, we I had it 115, 111 for Taylor. Uh, they were close rounds, so flipping one is not a big deal. You could have had it 116, 110. But somewhere between 114, 112, 116, 110 for Taylor was the right decision. He went on to say that if he hadn't got the two knockdowns, that he would have lost the fight. That's not true. It would have been a draw. Um... I, I'm not sure what he thinks. He he held on a lot. He clenched a lot. There were memes and jokes calling him the 140 pound Klitschko. Um, look, he won the fight, and all the judges scored the fight for him. So I don't really understand what he's unhappy about. It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. What what did he want? Like 120 to 106 scorecards because it wasn't that kind of fight. You he gave away the first two rounds. Right, <laughs> the first five rounds were close. I mean, um, he says, I haven't seen it yet. I mean, 114, 112, it's a disgrace. It should have been stopped. Even the first count was long. The second was about 20 seconds. Okay, look, Josh, maybe the count was long. Uh, First of all, the knockdown only came because um, the referee created space when there was no reason to for you to land that uppercut. Number two, Josh Taylor, who I'm, I'm a Josh Taylor fan. I think Taylor is exceptional. I picked Taylor to win the fight. I said Taylor's a pound for pound, top five to ten guy. Taylor is legitimate. He's the undisputed welterweight champion of the world. I said this before the fight. But this is on LeBron James now. Like, stop your whining. I mean, you, you won. All the judges saw the fight the way we saw it, close in your favor. And then you have a problem with the referee because, A, he created space so you could score the knockdown when he didn't have to, when he shouldn't have. And, two, you weren't in the neutral corner. So he stopped the count to put you back in your corner where you're supposed to be. Is this the first time you've knocked someone down? You don't know where you go when you, when you knock your opponent down? So if the count was long, which perhaps it was, why? It's your fault. Why were you not in your neutral corner? Uh, and, I, and to get into um, Kenny Bayless, all-time great referee, Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame referee. I do believe he'll go into the Boxing Hall of Fame, uh, the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Um, he's a great referee. He's 71 years old. Perhaps his time is over. Perhaps his time is up, you know. Um, Father time catch up. Oh, that was not a good job. By a great referee, but he's 71. Perhaps his time is over. Um, 
As far as Josh Taylor, though, I mean, some of these quotes, I don't understand. <laughs> it's, it's from a Bad Labs Hook article. I'm reading this. Uh, but he says, but listen, it is what it is. I beat five people there on Saturday. I beat three sneaking judges. I beat Kenny Bayless, and then I beat Ramirez. So if I didn't knock him down twice, I'd have lost that fight. It's a joke, isn't it? <laughs> Look. There's a lot of people who think that if you did knock him down twice, you did lose. So, no, it's not a disgrace. I thought you won. I had it 115-111. Seven rounds to five. Six rounds to six is not, not, it's not wrong. Right? It is eight to four. They were close rounds. He won the first, the second, third, fourth, and fifth were close rounds. And then you lost the last two. I mean, look, 6-6 six, six is not unreasonable. It's not. You know, there, there were rounds in there you lost. And then you you gave away two, two. I mean, what does Josh Taylor think the score was? I know he gave away the last round thing and he won. I, I know he did that, but that's not the fight that we saw in reality. In reality, we saw a close fight, that, which was probably separated by two knockdowns. Josh Taylor won, though. Congratulations to Jack, Zach, Jack, Zach Taylor. Woo, to Josh Taylor on a really good victory. Okay, uh, we come back. You're gonna have options now. You could fight. You could fight Tiffany Lopez, who wants to fight you at 140. You could fight Terrence Crawford, who wants to fight you at 147. Or you could wait and you could fight the winner of Mario Barrios and Tank Davis, aka Mario Barrios. And we can do that in Texas. And then you can get a real Texas decision. Um, <laughs> but. I mean, the whining and crying's got to stop. He got the decision. It was a decision that we all saw. It was a close competitive fight, which Taylor won a close decision. And all three judges had to score it that way. And what he's upset about, I really don't understand. I I've never seen a guy so unhappy and call it a disgrace when the judge scored a close fight in his favor. I'm, I'm truly astonished. Um, I've kind of lost a little bit of respect for Josh Taylor now, honestly. He's a great fighter, though. Pound for pound. Check out the pound for pound list on 3D Box and Blog. We just updated it. Uh, guys, please like and subscribe. That's it for today. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Are you shocked that Josh Taylor is so upset that the judge just scored the fight for him? Uh, 3D Box and Blog. Quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Eight to ten minutes a day, twice a day. Keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. It is May 27th. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in, um, in the class 2021, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.